do you suppose they get paid to rent this field out? I don't know. It's a great question. Look at that red thing. You want to buy a red planter today? You want to switch to red? We'll leave that to Jonah. Sure, sure. All right, today is August 18th. We are up at Mitchell, South Dakota today for the Dakota Fest Farm Show. And I've never been here before. I don't think Grandpa's been here either. So this will be new for us. We're gonna take a look around and I think the one thing I really wanna look at is that X9 combine that they got sitting out. So hopefully we can find it here and maybe not wear the soles off our boots before we get there. So they got a DB60 set up here with precision planning. We're at the precision planning booth, but you can see all the row units here. Looks a little bit different from uh, our planner, I think. Be something. I guess if you want to buy a grain bin today. <laughs> well, there you go. Easier to get that way. Yeah. You got your sprayers over here. Yep. Fast. If you ever want to pull behind sprayer. No. No. <laughs> oh, you want one with tracks? I'll let somebody else handle it. Someone else handle it, yeah. Handle the chemicals. Yeah, they got a fertilizer spreader back there, too. You like the Massey Ferguson? Well, I'm looking at those tires. Oh. You get a bigger tractor. How many got, is I do not know Massey Ferguson's. 2860. I don't know. Well, it's a utility tractor. Yeah, those are interesting tires. If you ever want to do silage, there you go. There's a lot of them. That'd be like something. There. Yeah. Well, they take the take the pleasure of opening everything up for you, so you can take a look inside. That'll be helpful when I get over to the X9. I really want to look at that. If you ever want to upgrade, here you go. Ooh, look at this thing. Look at it. You ever want tracks? Hmm. So what do you see? DB60, 24 row. Well, it certainly looks different from your planner. That's what, we have two of those. Pro gators? Yeah, we have two of those at work. That's right. They know what they're talking about. It's pretty tall. How'd you like tracks on an 8R? Yeah. yeah. So, about what, five and a half foot tall? It's a little bit five, six. Five, six. Again, I just want to take a look at this fuel tank. It seems like the whole thing back here is a fuel tank. I don't know how far back it goes. But it seems like most of this is a fuel tank. Just look at that. That's insane. It almost looks like a giant Lego, kinda. <laughs> it's so futuristic. Yeah, 2096 Brent. I think. Miles an hour, but we don't have a I bet the 7R could pull that. I don't think so. Empty. You wouldn't pull it. Empty, it could. I don't know. Yeah, I could pull it empty for sure. That's funny. You need tracks? Yep. If you ever need tracks on a cart. Well, I think they put tracks on these just because of the size. Probably. I don't think it's. I think. Uh, one of these days we might get to this point, maybe. Don't you think? Yeah, we totally could. <laughs> now this is more my style here. <clears throat> this is just a, not too much bigger than our wagons. 657. What's different on it? Well, they've got 
cylinders to move this back. Yep. Got a release handle. The but it still doesn't work any better than ours because when you bring this up, the corner runs out that way. Yeah. I think it works better if you're unloading on like a grate. Yeah. Instead Square of a grate. over an auger, because yeah, grate. the grain mm -hmm. saver it just collects a yeah, bunch and then great. just falls out. But yeah. it would work for grate, and then like if you're unloading straight down, that would work pretty well too. <laughs> a little bit bigger than our combine, not by much, just by several rows. <laughs> Probably about six. Oh, this is one of their new headers too. What do we buy it for the light? Yeah, buy for the light. C12R, just a bit bigger than the 9570. Not much though. <laughs> just a little bit. A million dollar combine. Yeah, just a bit bigger than the 9570. Oh, they got the radio plane in here. Better turn that off so I don't get a copyright strike. Turn it back on when I leave, but lots of storage compartments in here. You could literally live in this cab. Look at that. Visibility is amazing in this thing. Quite a bit different on the shifter here than the 9570. There's your radio. Got your cab light. And quite a bit bigger cab up here. Okay, let's come up in the back here. Here's your fuel tank and your def. See, we got a folding auger there. What a huge combine. Got your nice big John Deere engine. I don't know the specs on it. I'd say that's a pretty big grain tank compared to ours. Probably at least twice the capacity. And it's folding too, that's pretty cool. Like ours is a manual, you have to fold it down, but we never do because it fits in the shed, but pretty good view up here. So it should be a dual rotor combine, I think. So grain efficiency has never been higher in a John Deere combine. Nice little I suppose seed this is so you can put your track on their track. Yeah, it could be. Well, if you followed the track, then the seed would be right next to the next. Yeah, yep. That's probably right then. I was looking at this thing. Oh. What is that? Yeah, it's an it's for an air seeder. Yeah. So it'd be out on the plains where it's flat and you can run a huge setup. Quite a large saddle tank and air seeder. Yeah, just think of filling one of these things. I wonder how long it'd take compared to our little three bushel boxes. Quad track 620. I mean, I may not be full on case guy, but some of this big stuff looks pretty cool. I don't mind a little red, just not on our farm. <laughs> Looking at red's pretty cool. So this is a new Magnum 400. So this is basically like a power shift, I think, and this is the throttle from what I've learned about Case, which is a cool design. And of course you got your three point controls and different settings for cylinders and SCVs and whatever else. PTO, oh yeah, here's your SCVs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Six? There's your left hand reverser. Not a bad interior for this tractor. I like the radio and all the climate control, auto steer. That looks pretty cool. And then you got all these visors. That's that's pretty neat. USB. Oh yeah. Not a bad tractor. 
Well, here's their Case Combine 5150 Axial Flow. Not a bad looking rig. Well, yeah, I can tell this one's been used before. Yeah, not a bad looking thing. So this is the cab in this case combine. Got your window open. Keys on the side, which is kind of funny, but I guess it makes sense. And in these, yeah, your throttle is not three buttons like in a John Deere. You have a annual throttle there. And of course, here's your hyd hydrostatic shifter. You got all your buttons here. Reel adjustments, auger, unload, emergency stop. And this one's got foot pegs too. They all got foot pegs, that's good. The cab feels smaller in these combines. They, you sit lower is what I've noticed. And then there's your grain tank. Definitely a different view in these red machines, I gotta say. Quite a bit different from our combine. And it's not just the paint, it's the whole whole design. It's kind of cool to see them though. So for a mother bin, you would have just a tractor hooked up to Look it. How the back wheels turn. Yeah, so either the combine would dump into it or if you had like another smaller cart, you could dump into it. And then as trucks show up, you just unload into the trucks with the auger. So, so I can get done on one it's day. like, yeah, yeah, it's like a grain How many thousand cart. bushels is that? Several, I don't know. 4,000 4, plus is what it said. So yeah, that's like a mini grain bin is what that is. Oh, it's got a backup camera. You can see, yeah, you can see right in here. Look at how big that is. Well, it looks like a telephone. It does, it does. equipment here. Mm -hmm. I knew Holland's right next to him. Got a speed rake. Got a self-propelled. Oh, we better go check that out. There's all the blue tractors. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say I'm not a fan of New Holland, but uh, I mean, it's nice that everything's here. You get to look at them, compare them in size and whatnot. So I won't take a close look at these. Probably. Okay, so we've seen everything here that we really can. So we're gonna try and find the test plot and take a look at that. Actually uh, got to meet Cole Sonny and uh, shook his hand and talked to him for a while and he's the one who actually pointed us towards the uh, test plot. So. We're gonna head that way and see if it's worth it to head out there. Well, this is interesting. You got their tillage set up over there, combine, and here's the other X9, the 1100. Same deal. that button the tractor everything for the cart he doesn't even have to he just sits there 
Yeah, so, so right here, I've, I've got the button set up to bring it forward and back. Yeah. And I can also set it up to measure side to side, or I can do it in the display right here. So okay. every time I touch, you can see it moving, I'm moving my foot forward. Yep. And if I hit him to the left, I'm going to hit him left three times. Or I got four times, he's moving two feet to the left. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I mean, I knew technology was getting pretty far, but I haven't actually heard of this stuff yet because I haven't had the chance to sit in an S-Series while people are working, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It speeds up with me. Oh, so it just, as you change speed, it'll automatically? Talk to the tractor. Okay. Use the cell phone signal to do the right and their Wi-Fi together. Their Wi-Fi together? Right when they're in the box. Okay. That's pretty neat. Just like that, all the machines are running at once. Grandpa's sitting up there in the 9RX. He's going to watch us use the VT because he's, he's pretty interested in the VT. So we'll see how he likes it when he gets back. Quite a big jump from the 7930, I'll tell you that. Oh, you can't even see him. Hell, he's in there somewhere. <laughs> well, you gotta love that South Dakota wind, don't you? What tractor is this? This is a... 9520RX. 9520RX, okay. Just a little bigger than a 7930. Just a little. Just, yep. just yep. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we're running a 2660 VT. Yep. Uh, 30, does it say 30 foot 3 inches yep. or? Okay. And how fast are we going? We're going... So I'm kind of aiming for 10 miles an hour with it. Um, okay. Yeah. We're running kind of a light angle, 3 degree angle, 3 degree three inch depth yep so you will see here see the section control took over and lifted it up it lifted it up for you so lines are a good place to start yep sure, though. and then will it automatically set yep, it down it should set it down here again i got kind of a white headland on it right now okay yep there it goes so then like here i'll switch to a, a heavier tillage setting on here you see the gang i kind of see them yeah forward. i see it adjust yep. yep you can feel the tractors pulling yeah, down I feel a little that. bit so yeah and then we can watch the depth on there too. We're actually mapping that too. Okay. So and I'll go back to my soybean setting. Yeah, now you can't see anything. Right. This is when Honest here comes in handy. Yes. Yeah. I was doing tillage this spring and uh, wind was straight out of the south. Oh. So going back, or was it south or was it? No, it was straight out of the north. So when I was going south, it was like this. And <laughs> we don't have auto steer or anything. Right. So what we did was, because it was also clumping, we just take half a pass every time, hit it twice, and yep. then, then I knew where I was actually going. So I could, last. Yeah. couldn't see anything because there's no moisture in the ground, and <laughs> just all the elements were against me there. Right. But. Okay, so we just got done with the test plot, and I think we both learned a lot, didn't we? Yep. So you like the vertical tillage stuff, and I like seeing the combine control the grain cart all by itself. So. I think that was a pretty good day. We got to see a lot of new equipment. We got to see the X9. We got to see a lot of equipment in action and I even got to meet Cole Sunny. So I think that's a win-win. Well, with that, I'm gonna get going here. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video.